Mary, I'm going to show you a few hydrangea paniculata varieties that are on the market, some new and some old. So we are standing behind a brand new variety that Bailey Nurseries introduced in 2022. It's in our first editions brand and it's called Little Hottie. This was bred down at our farm in Athens, Georgia. It tolerates the heat of Georgia and the cold of Minnesota. But what's so lovely about it is it's compact and small, so it fits smaller gardens or foundation plantings. And while this is a young plant, it's only gonna go about three and a half foot tall by maybe four foot wide in the landscape. You can see the flower heads are nice and full. They start out a little lime green and then turn white. They take on a little pink, but not a lot of pink. So it's a super new variety for small spaces in the marketplace. Well, this is so nice and full, but how, why is that different or how is that different than the plant right next to you? Well, this is a very old variety that's been on the market a long time and still is sold. It's a variety called Hydrangea paniculata tardiva, came from Europe. And it has a very open flower head. It's not as full. So there are different flower types botanically. These very showy white flowers are called sterile flowers. And these little bumps are called fertile flowers. So it makes for a very open panicle. It's a really kind of a delicate, lacy look, and some people just love the look of that. Panicles like full sun, and in my mind, full sun means six hours or more of direct sunlight every day. Well, you could have sun from morning till two o'clock, from noon till sunset, you would do just fine. They need full sun. Mary, one of the things breeders have done in modern breeding is bring the size down on panicles. So we're standing in between two very popular intermediate sizes. This one is called Strawberry Sunday, and it came from a breeder in France. And it is kind of the sister seedling to vanilla strawberry, which is tall plant that gets about eight foot tall. And on your side is little lime hydrangea. And it's kind of like the baby version of limelight, which started the whole craze in hydrangeas. These plants get about four foot, four and a half, same width. And again, they are great for small gardens, for foundation plantings, for short informal hedges. They don't get too big in the landscape. And they're just as easy to grow as any of the big varieties. When should you prune these? All these panicles, doesn't matter size, should be pruned early in the spring before they start growing. So March, early April, when they're still dormant. Now, one thing we've learned over the last couple years is these shorter varieties take a light shearing. Just cut off last year's flowers. Don't get crazy and cut 50% off. The tall ones though really benefit from some cutting back. So I have vanilla strawberry in my backyard. Every spring I take at least 35% of it. I cut it back and it comes back up full and beautiful with very thick stems that hold the flowers. So the techniques now are becoming a little different depending on whether it's a big tall variety or if it's a compact variety. Mary, I'm showing you Limelight Hydrangea, which is kind of the granddaddy of all the panicles. One of the first panicles that came out that really started the hydrangea craze. It's about 22, 23 years old. You can see it's a tall plant and the flowers are proportionately bigger than some of those intermediate types that we talked about. It's called limelight because it starts lime green and then it turns white. Uh, it doesn't take on too many pink tones a little bit, but it is a great plant as a shrub. This one is also trained into a tree quite often and used in the landscape as a small tree. It's part of the proven winter program one, was one of their first hydrangea introductions well over 20 years ago. If you want to plant this hydrangea or any of the others you've shown us, when is a good time to do that? Well, you can really do it anytime the ground is diggable. In the spring when the frost goes out, you can go to the garden center and buy a container grown panicle and get it in the ground. End of the season, September, fall is a great time to plant. You can find these things in the garden center. You can get them in the ground. I would mulch them well with some wood chip mulch, not rocks, no rocks ever. 
maybe the second spring, a shot of fertility, something very basic, 10, 10, 10, 12, 12, 12. They're not the heaviest feeders in the world. They're so easy to grow. And then keep them well watered, especially if we have a midsummer drought. They don't like wilting and drying down because then the flowers will turn brown. So if it's a dry July, get your hose down there and go to do a good deep soaking and keep the ground evenly moist. Mary, I'm standing next to my very favorite panicle hydrangea. It's a variety called Berry White, and it was bred in France by Mr. Renault, who has brought us a number of different varieties that are in our first editions program. It's a big plant, gets about seven or eight foot tall, but it starts blooming in July. The flowers are big, they start out white, and then at the bottom of the panicle, you start to get these strawberry red tones. And this will work its way all the way up and it's almost red by the end of August into early September. It's just a great, great showy plant with the best color of any of the panicles. And that's why it's my favorite. Debbie, is this one plant? Actually, this is a group of three. We're standing in a little area that's called our hedge garden. So we've tried to take some of our varieties and show how you can use them informally in a hedge. You know, none of that box pruning. Just put them together so you can screen off your neighbor or anything else. And so there's about three plants here in a row. Berry will go about seven to eight foot tall and seven to eight foot wide. So it will take up some good space once it matures in the landscape. Has this been pruned to be nice and bushy like this? No, there's not a ton of pruning done in this garden. But if this was my garden next spring, I'd come out in March. I take about 25% back, shape it into a nice shape, and that will keep the stems nice and stiff for the following year. Should you use hydrangeas by themselves because they're so showy, or can they be used as uh, in combination? Oh, I think they should be mixed in the landscape. If you have a foundation planting, mix it with other things, other colors, dark leafed nine barks or barberries or other blooming plants, maybe that bloom at a different time of the season so you have color that you extend throughout the entire season. But just like this example, it can be used all by itself in an informal hedge situation. Very versatile group of plants to work with.